Just a reminder that everything you see here on Gamers on Games is made possible by patrons like you. Why not check out our Patreon page? It would really help us out. Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at metalheadminis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at metalheadminis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. This is not a superhero game by any stretch of the imagination. It's a game that has superheroes. Basically, you are superheroes that are that are very low-level superheroes, and you've just lost your government funding uh, for your supergroup, and now you and your fellow former uh, teammates have to go out and get a job. Um, and the only real job in that little town that you're in is at the local restaurant for a waiter or waitress. So the owner basically says to you guys, you know what, I like you guys a lot. Come on in and work for me for one day. Whoever has the most tips by the end of that day will get the job. Now, being superheroes, you obviously have superpowers, and you're not really above using them to make sure that you're the one that gets the, the better better tips and you get the you get the job. I would do the same thing on it. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, so the game is for three, uh, three to three to five, I'm sorry, two to five players, and it's set up now for for four players, just for for demo purposes. Uh, in, in a five player, you'd have two more tables. Okay. Okay. Um, everybody gets uh, gets a, a, a superhero, um, which are which are two sided. They have their their cool cover art, and on the back you have an order pad which lists lists their their powers that they have. They all have two powers. Oh, that's cute. You put okay. on an order pad. Yeah. Yeah, and there's symbols that basically you can use them, like some you can use during what we call the service phase, and some you can use during the scoring phase. Okay. Okay. Um, you get to use one per one per round. Um, this is the restaurant, the table to the restaurant. Up here we have the restaurant, so the restaurant staff that you can maybe go to and, and, and get some help from to, to, to get the get the better tips. Um, the cards here are the are the represent the customers, and you might notice right away that there's two different types. There's ones where you can see that are green, you can see the tip, and there are yellow ones where you can't see the tip. And what that and the, what that represents is the Green ones are the people that the restaurant staff know. Oh, that's the old couple that comes in every week. They always order the special and leave, and leave a six-dollar tip or whatever, so you know what to expect. Right. The yellow ones, you don't know. Is it poor students coming? They're going to sip a cup of coffee all day and then leave you a crappy tip. I've never done that. <laughs> Ever. Or you know, or is it so, is it some, somebody out on the date trying to impress their impress their impress their date and then they're going to leave a really good tip? You don't know. So the the, the known customers have a much smaller range. They're, they're more like the middle, and the unknown ones they could be low, they could they could be middle, but they could also they could be high. But you're taking more of a risk. Okay. Okay. With those. Now every every superhero also has a fortress of loneliness, which is where they store their service markers. Okay. And every turn they take out five service markers. 
and they flip one to the plus one high priority side. And what that means is it's worth an extra dollar tip. It means you're spending extra time at that table, like bringing them an extra cup of coffee or some breadsticks or whatever. Okay, so on, on, on players' turns, they take their service markers and they place them on tables to wait on customers. They could also place them, like I said before, kind of on staff to get the staff to maybe help you. When they place on tables, they always have to place at the lowest number spot. Okay. So, so you always have to start at one, but somebody else coming along after would have to oh, go so to. you actually could steal someone's table. Absolutely. Because this is a cutthroat. Oh no, oh no, it's not. <laughs> uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to give you an example here, okay? Um, at, at the end of the round, once everybody's placed to go around these tables, and they can use again their superhero, their superpower once per round, one of them, not both of them. Okay, you, the, the tables are going to be in one of three possible states at the end of the round, and what they are is they could be fully serviced like this. That means they're going to need everybody's done eating. It's time to split up the tips, right? Okay. In that case, whoever has the most tokens, okay, wins the table, and they're going to win the lion's share of the tip. Okay. In the event of a tie, it's whoever Whoever has whoever placed on the highest number plate. Okay. So there's a lot of shenanigans with superpowers and getting the staff to help you that may, that, that, that can can change these um, that you always have to kind of be aware of and, and, and always kind of figure on right. as you go. Um, the other so this would this would score out and you would add the tip uh, plus the bonus because it's a big table. You know how you have, if you have a larger group they give you a, they tell you how much you how much you have, have to give right. <laughs> Um, um, and, and let me just say, and like, and if there's any any high priority tokens, that would add too. So this would be eight, nine, ten, eleven. So whoever wins this, in this case, blue, has to turn in one token, and they go to the phantom realm, where your tokens go, where your service markers go, and they are effectively at that point out of the game. Okay. So you're you're all you're going to have you have limited time that you can you can use. So you can't throw all your tokens and get them back. You have to be like really. Which one's the exactly. Important. Okay. Exactly. And now, when you do that, you, if you won the table, you have the second option to throw a second one into the phantom realm. But again, you're throwing it away, but you get that those full points. Anybody that helped you gets half the points rounded down, but their tokens go back to their fortresses of loneliness. Okay. Okay. So sometimes you 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 know it's a perfectly reasonable strategy if you can get in on the good tables just by helping. You do a lot of helping and conserve your tokens. Right. Th that can work out really well. Now, the other thing that can happen is a table can be partially serviced. And that means there's one or more on there, but it's not filled. That means they're still eating. So it just stays as is and it goes for the next round. You just continue it. So how does the round end? Well, uh, the way the round ends is you have the five tokens. And remember at the beginning of the round, and everybody takes a certain place. And once everybody's placed all those tokens, that's okay. that's when you get to the scoring phase and you start scoring it out. Okay. The last way a table could be is is unserviced. That means nobody's come and helped these people at all. So they are going to storm off, give you guys a bad Yelp review, and <laughs> and, and, and 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 that's it. And then that card would get thrown away, and then new customers would come in the next so round. Do you have like expansion where Yelp reviewers can come in? No, we don't have Yelp reviews. <laughs> <laughs> we, th we thought of it in the future. Sure. We actually thought about maybe doing you know, an expansion with the Yelp reviews as it goes up and down. <laughs> we might get to that. Um, now, I didn't mention so much what the staff can do for you. They can do a variety of things. If you place on a staff, like for example a hostess, she gives you a plus three dollar to your tip at the table. She basically seats the group at the nicest table in the restaurant. Okay. So that that's going to give you a, a tip. Um, somebody like uh, the um, and you can only use her once per round because there's only one. Yeah, there's only one. Yeah, if, okay. and like there's other. By the way, there are other. This is set up for the basic learning game, right. but there are other staff. And once you know the game, you can, you draft them. Okay. So first you draft your superheroes. So 10 different superheroes. There's five here and then there's five spread out around here. Um, so you draft your superheroes and then you get to draft the staff. So if you if you know, like, especially certain characters have certain advantages with certain staff. So you want to make sure that that staff is in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So th th that's th that's an another kind of aspect of the game. Uh, the, the game will go until you run, you run through the deck. This was, again, set up for a short game, um, um, which was just dinner. But if you had a regular game, it'd be lunch 
bridge and dinner. Once you get to the last uh, the last card being placed out, that is the last round of the game, and the restaurant's closing. So at that point, any tables that don't have they don't get filled, they get turned over. Basically, the chairs get turned over, they're closing down. Okay, and that last round you play it out, and even if tables aren't filled, it doesn't matter. They still score, and whoever has the the, the highest uh, tips at the end at the end of the game gets the gets the job. That sounds great. Especially, I mean, I worked in a restaurant for a month when I was like 15, so this speaks to me. <laughs> I understand the struggles of being a waitress. I can't imagine what superheroes, but this is this is a really cute game. Like, there's different elements to it, and I feel like that every time you play, it would be a different game because you don't know who you're gonna have, who's gonna play where. Right, and who inter and like and like who and like how superheroes interact with each other, how the powers cross interact, and the same with the staff, where it's like, well, my, you know, like like you know, like this particular power is going to really benefit from having that staff, or maybe it will be really negative. A staff might be really negative toward, towards you, so I want to try to make, try to not, you know, hope that staff is not is not in there. And how many different superheroes can you play with? Uh, there are, there are ten different. So the game's two uh, two to five players, so you can play with five different ones at a time. Okay. Okay, um, so that's and, and that's it. And, you, and obviously, you can you can play. Uh, like I said, the short game is, is only thirty to forty minutes. So that's we kind of did that with with the half game. That way, if, if you want, if, you know, if you want a short game, you do that. If you want to do the longer game, now the longer game gets to be a, is a little bit tougher because if you remember the your third, the ones you spend go to the Phantom Realm. Well, in the long game, uh, so you know this thirteen tokens you start with is a lot. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. a lot tougher tighter than half the game. But there is, um, he's not out here, um, but there is a washroom attendant that you would you would, make, you would put in that long game, which allows you to go and freshen up and get, and get a token back. Do a little spray down real quick. Yeah, just you know, get, 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 have a, go, uh, you know, get, get freshened up and come back. And, uh, okay, I'm ready ready for another, another show. A little splash of water in your face, you're good. Good to go. <laughs> Um, uh, the game, the, the age range uh, on the box is 13 plus. It's mainly because of the, of the small parts. We can't really put it lower than that. But if someone's, a, if, a, if, a, if a kid, if you have a like, like you guys, you have, you, you, you have a kid that, that, that you're, you're raising as a gamer. That's how I raise my kids. You know what? Well, you, you know, you know well, when, when they're 10 years old, they can easily play play the. Right, so she has seven more years to play this. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and um, on the Kickstarter, what's the average? Are you uh, the, the game is the game's going to be it's going to be twenty nine dollars uh, pledge um, with with uh, with like I think it's going to be seven dollars shipping um, yeah, for for you for us. Well, we basically cover half the shipping. So it's like a, a dollar a minute for the short game. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> to break down that sounds great. <laughs> well, no, that's a really good price for this type. I mean, you're getting a lot of pieces for this game, and they're, like you say, you can do a short and long, which is nice. You right. don't have that many games where you can do both. Right. It depends on what you what you, what you feel like. Uh, I happen to like the longer game just because I like the having to, you, the resource management comes much more into it because you're really tight on those tokens. And if you go really nilly collecting tips early on, you're going to be hurting at the at the uh, at the end. You're going to be spent basically. It doesn't matter what super PR you have. If you don't have the people, you can't do the work. Right. I got gotcha. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, do you want to? Oh yeah, Find sure. Uh, the, uh, um, well, well, our main website is shootagaingames.com, uh, 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 and uh, for this, if you go to borntoservegame.com, that will point to information about the game, and then it will point to, it will point to the Kickstarter once the Kickstarter goes live on January. Eighth. Well, I wanted to um, talk about um, where are some of the other games that you've put out so far. Um, some of the other games we've done so far is uh, um, Pinball Showdown. Where it's a game where you're a pinball door and multi-ball. The players are pinballs. Um, conspiracy, where you're all conspiracy theories trying to prove your, your favorite conspiracies. Um, Bigfoot versus Yeti, where you're going out and attempting to prove Bigfoot, Yeti, Loch Ness Monster, Jersey Devil, etc. <laughs> and Looting Atlantis, where you're all Atlanteans fleeing the sinking Atlantis, but you're being you're the smart one, so you're taking all the high-tech gear with you and so looting, looting the city. But while everybody else is panicking, you're running in and getting all the high-tech stuff, so when you end up some some crappy backwater place like ancient Egypt, okay, uh, you're going to have
have all these great technologies that'll they'll set you for life. That sounds great. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with Thank you. At Pax Unlimited. Um, I said Pax Unlimited. Wow. Pax Unplugged. <laughs>